the development and uh, evaluation of this spacecraft is a major milestone. The great improvement in this monolithic design is to deliver so much for so little. When this lands on the moon, it will be about 800 total kilograms, including the rover, the payloads, the uh, extra fuel that is left at the time of landing, and all the structure that we're looking at here. And the part of that that's payload includes 20 kilograms that's on the rover and uh, about 100 kilograms that are uh, bolted to this chassis. This is the spacecraft that will next land on the moon because uh, this spacecraft is guiding itself visually. Uh, it will do a superb job in locking in on its intended landing. However, uh, once it arrives at and above that intended landing, it has the first close-up view of what's actually, actually there. So that very last descent and the very last decision about where it lands is really up to the sensors, the spacecraft, and the autonomous software. This is also very producible. It is something that can be uh, machined and assembled from common materials. Uh, it is uh, a low parts count, uh, very forgiving in the sense that it has nice margins and um, fairly straightforward in assembly. The materials, the machining is supported by companies uh, from the Pittsburgh area. Uh, Alcoa is foremost amongst them and uh, arguably the greatest aluminum company in the world. We're blessed to have such partners and those are the kinds of allies that get us to the moon. Above all, I regard the uh, simplicity and the directness of this artifact, the low parts count, the rational mechanical architecture, and the craft that produces this excellence. Um, this structure passed flight readiness test in flying colors. Uh, the tests involve uh, adding many sensors that determine motion and stress, and uh, then to shake the vehicle uh, in the violent, forceful manner that it will experience during launch. When that happens, it's important that it uh, doesn't flex too much, that uh, nothing is stressed to failure, and this performed superbly. Once on the moon, uh, this lander um, is there for eternity. And for everyone that had anything to do with it, it is a high accomplishment and uh, legacy of what's possible by a resourceful small team that operates from intention and uh, commitment. This moon landing, moon enterprise is much more than a technology, much more than chasing a prize. Uh, the only way that it works is as enterprise, and that is led by Astrobotic, which is founding uh, an industry and evolving missions and technical enterprise for generations to come.